Hello. Hi there. I'm wondering if any of you are on today. If maybe this is some of your lunch break or um, what you might be doing if you're scrolling through social media. If you are on right now, just say, hi, Melissa. I'm watching from the fill the blank. Maybe you're watching in Oklahoma or you're watching from your bed in Germany or just wherever you are. Just say hi and tell me where you're watching from. Hi, everybody. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Ann Arnold Thomas. How are you doing, girl? How are you doing? Joyce Dominguez is watching. I'm so happy. Let me put my earrings. So I wear these little huggies now. And I, I remember taking those off the other day and I forgot to put them back on. Um, hi, Pam. Hey, girl. Watching from Canada. Hi, Amy Corey. Hello, Darlana Vaughn. I love you so much. I've been thinking about you. I'm praying for you, girl. Um, hello, Babette in Alabama. Robin Lucas is here. Christy, hi. She's watching. Christy Bro Brochar is watching from Iowa. And Patricia is here from Oklahoma. Amanda is here from upstate New York. Oh, Larley, that's so kind. She says, I miss you. Come on here more often. I actually have decided that this week I'm going to do a live every single day. Every single day. I'm going to do a live. Um, thank you, for Ashley, for watching in Oklahoma. I got a lot of Oklahoma on here. You girls need to get together and have lunch. Y'all need to get together and have some lunch. There's a lot of Oklahoma on here. At some point, y'all have to live by each other, maybe. Um, hi, Jody Gibson. Hi, how are you? And Tiffany is here from Michigan. And Debbie Duffy is in the house. Tiffany Mastos is watching. Ah, oh, Kim Garrett Lorman. I'm so glad. And Melissa Bordoni is here from Virginia. And Martha Gore from Durham, North Carolina. And Dee Dee Turley is here from Alabama. You guys, I'm so happy y'all are watching. I don't know what would possess y'all to do that, but I'm happy nonetheless. My mother would, if my mother was here, she would say, y'all really need something better to watch. Y'all really need something better to do with your time. Oh, you're asking me about my next launch live. Uh, that's a really great question. I need to look at my calendar. I don't know, but uh, at least in a week or so, I don't know. I need to check that. Well, hey, you guys, um, so I wanted to jump on today because you know, let me just go ahead and let you know, in case you want to log off, in case this is not for you. Um, everybody wants Melissa to be funny all the time, all the time. Do something funny, Melissa. Dance, monkey, dance. Um, and I can't help but be funny. I have a good sense of humor, and I like to be funny. But occasionally, I like to just, like, talk to y'all. And maybe it's because I'm dealing with something, um, and I think that maybe you might identify with it. And that's the case for today. Thank you, Tiffany Mastos. That means so much to me because I look awful today. But that means so much to me, so thank you. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to get on here because I am sitting outside in the car. I dropped David off, and David just ran inside of a shoe company. What? what? A shoe store. <laughs> a shoe company. A shoe store. So in a couple of days, David Radke will be going to Washington for my son Rocco's 8th grade field trip. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Melissa, aren't moms usually the one that goes on field trips? Yes, uh, they are. But in this particular instance, I was telling Rocco, this has been months ago, hey, Rocco, the 8th grade's going on a field trip to Washington. He's like, I know, I want to go. And I said, okay, well, we'll go. And then I think that the, they're arranging it where the kids are staying with the parents, so you'd be with me. He's like, oh, okay. He was not very excited about that. Um, when it comes to like staying in a hotel room and being with them all week, he wanted his dad to go. And I don't blame him. More importantly, and I think I... I think I'm speaking from my heart when I say this. I also wanted his dad to go. I had no desire to go. None. Okay? This is a girl that when I went to Hawaii 
and David went to tour Pearl Harbor. When he went to tour Pearl Harbor, I stayed at the hotel around the pool and ate onion rings. So history's not my favorite thing, okay? So, I, 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 how about the way? Hi, Kim Withoft and Laurie Hurst and Michelle Marlowe. You guys that are just jumping on, listen to me, please, please. If you have ever liked me, if I've ever even been nice to you, if I ever, if you ever walked to the grocery store and I held the door open for you, would you just share this right now? I'm not going to say who, but the the uh, social media platform that you are watching this on has decided that they're not my biggest fan, that they're not big fans of me. They don't share my stuff anymore. It barely gets out. Um, we talked with them about it, and do you know that I have 598,000 followers on this on this social media platform, and 4% see my stuff, 4%. Lucky y'all, you're, lucky y'all, or too bad for y'all, but either way, you're in the 4%. Hi, Janet Jarvis, welcome. Welcome to this. I'm so glad you're here. Maybe, Janet, what I'm going to say today is exactly for you. I don't know. But I would just love it if y'all would share this. That would help me out so much. But anyway, so I was telling you guys a story about how Rocco's going on a field trip to Washington, and I'm not going to go with him because I've got a life to live, and it don't involve going and reading plaques at the Liberty Bell. Um, so David's going to take him. And Rocco's best friend, his dad's going too. So, you know what? Mom's week. All that to say, David gets an email the other day. <laughs> it is true, Carrie Funk. She says, usually I have to go to your page to find you. It's so frustrating, but Patricia Deering just shared, and that, honestly, thank you so much. Thank you, Calista. So David gets this email the other day, and it's the itinerary for Washington. I don't know how they're going to have time to go to the bathroom. I don't, they, they have not built in potty breaks or snack breaks, okay? The woman who's putting it together, she's a, she's amazing. and They're going to have a great time. But she said, I do want you to be, be please be advised that we will be walking about Hold Steady, Myrtle, Hold Your Girl, 15,000 steps a day. <gasps> 15,000 steps a day. Okay, for those of you who want me to put that into some light, you can relate to it. When I went to Disney, I walked 10,000, 12,000, 12,000 at Disney, and I moved slow, okay? I walked 12,000. This is 15,000. So David has been having really a lot of lower back pain, and he said, I want to go to the shoe store. I want to go in. They have this machine, and he can stand on it. And it's going to take all the dimensions of his feet. I'm going somewhere with this, believe it or not. Um, all the dimensions of his feet. And they're going to see if maybe like some orthotics or some of those, what do you call those, insoles, are good for his feet. Those of you, those of you who are watching right now are like, did we just sign up for the AARP Facebook forum? No, I mean... Let me let me live my life, okay? David's got a bad back, and he's got to get some orthotics, okay? I tell you all of this for a reason. Oh, Martha Gore, that's so sweet. <laughs> I tell stories all the time, and not a lot of people say they like them. But as I was driving in here and dropping him off, he ran inside. I could not help but think about my own life and how... I often feel like I am walking around with rocks in my shoes. And it's one thing when you stop instantly and you take your shoe off and you drop your rock out. But it's another thing when you feel that way all the time. It's another, it's a, something entirely different when in your life you're walking 15,000 steps a day and they're about to kill you. Now you may say, what does this have to do with anything? L let me tell you what it has to do, Okay. David is at the door saying, do you like these? Those aren't, those aren't insoles, David. Those are shoes. You have that same shoe in black. Why do you want that shoe? I think those are ugly shoes, but I get why you would like them. They're, they're nice. I like them. I hated those. I hated them. These 
hokas are big shoes right now, but they are ugly. That's coming from a girl who has a pair, okay? Anyway, back to what I was saying. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sharing. Most of my life, I have walked through it hurting. And there's over 300 people on here right now. And I wonder how many of you are walking through your life hurting. You haven't pulled into the shoe store, so to speak, right? That's metaphorical. You haven't seen what the problem is. You haven't taken off your shoes. You haven't stood on the machine. You haven't let it scan your feet. These are all like meta metaphors, okay? But it's the truth of us. We walk through our life 10,000 steps a day, 15,000 steps a day. We walk through our life through holidays. We walk through our life through jobs. We walk through our life through having babies. We walk through our life through parenting. We walk through our life through our marriage. We, and we're all we're hurting, and we don't understand why. And it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And for those of you who are like, I love hocus. <laughs> I'm not talking about hocus right now, Patty. Patty. Thanks, new girl. But when I turned like 43 years old, I just was like, why am I still walking around hurting? At what point am I going to heal from all of this stuff that has thrown me off kilter? If every pain I've ever experienced, if every betrayal I've ever had happened to me, if every embarrassment I've ever lived through, if every... Um, mean girl or um, dark memory or traumatic moment, if those were all rocks in our shoes, then aren't we tired of walking on those? Like, when are we going to do something about it? I'm so glad, Jacqueline Cheney, that you needed this today because, honestly, I kind of got on here with just a thought in my own head and not I, ha I haven't typed this out. I haven't really made this perfect it's just a thought like here david is walking into this place and saying i have a lot of steps ahead of me in the next week and i don't want to do them hurting how can you help me but we never do that we never do that about our own life why are we embarrassed to say I've been walking for a long time, and I got a lot of pain, but I got many more miles to go. Sylvia's like, I feel the same way. It's like an uphill climb every day. Um, Amanda Grignan says, I needed this so bad today. Brianna Yount says, gut punch, tears. I needed this today, too. Hey, girl, Brianna. Um, Melissa says, I'm going through this myself right now. Um <laughs> Saja? Is your name Saja? Because that's the sexiest name I've ever heard. Says, yes, amen, preach. Um, Jacqueline needed this today. I, I don't know. I, and, and I'm so glad that you guys are relating to this because I didn't know if it was just me. But I don't know, just pulling in and him, he, I mean, the last words he said were, I just think this makes the most sense, right? I got a lot of miles ahead of me this next week, and I don't want to hurt, hurt the entire time. And it took my breath away a little bit um, because I've got a lot of miles ahead of me this next week, this next year, this next six months. I've got a lot of miles ahead of me for the rest of my life, and I, I don't want to keep hurting. I don't want to. I deserve better than that, and I don't want that for you. I have worked my butt off, if I can be quite frank. I have worked my butt off the last several years of my life to heal from some past things that were either done to me or done by me. You know, a lot of times we think um, that the pain that's in our life is was caused by someone else when the truth of the matter is just as much as pain caused by us. Well, Melissa, now that's not necessarily true. I mean, I never betrayed myself. Really? I betrayed myself a million times. <laughs> I betrayed myself a million times. 
I've shamed myself a million times. So just as much like as just as much as I have to forgive other people for what they've done to me, I also have to forgive me for what I've done to me. But I got a whole long beautiful life to live. And I don't want to I don't want to walk with a limp. I don't want to walk with a limp. And for whatever reason, I have to think that God himself, the the creator of the universe, had to have been distracted, had to have been really busy with a lot of things, had to have had an angel driving him up a wall on the day that he gave me a social media platform. I have to think that that was completely accidental, that even after God did it, he was like, what did I just do? But nonetheless, here I am with one, and I can't, in good conscience, work so hard on forgiving others and forgiving myself and moving forward in my life without pain, without rocks in my shoes, keeping me from where I need to go, and then keep all of that to myself. I want to get on here and talk about it. I want to get on here and say it is possible to move on. It is possible to learn from your past. It is possible, believe it or not, to like thrive in your past. It really is. I mean, thrive. You guys have, we all, I am no different. We all have an opportunity to learn from where we were in order to make us better for where we're going. After talking to women for the last eight years that I've been on social media, surely it's not been that long, has it? Seven years? The one thing I hear over and over and over women say is a question I repeatedly hear, and it is, what was all of this for? What am I here for And what was all of this for? Help me make sense of my divorce, Melissa. Help me make sense of my the way my parents raised me, Melissa. Help me make sense of the fact that the church hurt me, Melissa. Help me make sense of, um, you know, my shame, Melissa. Help me, like, what was it all for? Uh, Women ask that question all the time. And I am here to tell you, it was for you. It was for you. Everything that's ever happened to me or because of me was for me. It was to learn from, to grow from, to do better from, to never do again. And it becomes part of our testimony. So those of you who are watching, Kirsten Ward, The fact that you're watching this right now and you have tears rolling down your face, let me tell you something. Maybe it's time you pull over, like David just did. Take off your shoes. Get the rocks out of them. Figure out what's hurting you, what's holding you back, what's keeping you from living your best, most blessed life. Let them scan you. Let God scan you. Let him look at you. Let him point out what needs to be healed. Let him point out what is not whole yet. So that you can use all of it for your future. I actually got a text message a minute ago that said, um, hold, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. It says, Is a misguided attempt.
I do not want you all spending another day Mandy Thompson, can you hear me now? I think my phone got connected to Bluetooth. Tell me if you can hear me. Can you hear me? There you go. It's back. Okay, my phone got connected to Bluetooth. I'm so sorry, my phone got connected to Bluetooth. But I turned my Bluetooth off. But don't worry, I didn't say anything important. I was waiting, I was waiting for y'all. But I was just talking about how some of you are so chained with um, unforgiveness. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound like anybody? You know what, let's just be totally honest. Put a heart right now, send a heart. If you would say, I have an area of unforgiveness in my life that I still cannot get past. I still cannot grant forgiveness in this area. Just put a heart, I saw that heart. I saw that heart. Look at all of y'all. You still can't, and, and here's the, hey, and, and, and ask yourself this. Is it the unforgiveness with someone else or is it with you? Oh my God, this man's asking me about a shoe again. Ah, uh, first ones. I like them. What are those? I like them better than the Hoka's, for sure. He hadn't brought a, he has not brought an attractive pair of tennis shoes out of this store yet. Um, but I, I don't know. I just, man, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just sharing what's on my heart. You guys, you're put, you're putting hearts because you, man, I feel you sister. I do. I feel you. And also here's another thing. Here's another thing. Stacy, I don't like to see that. Stacy Reddy's says myself, I don't like to see that. Let me tell you something, my friend. Let me tell you something. There is forgiveness to be granted to Stacy. Yes, there is. You, my, okay, you know what? Y'all are gonna wanna share this because I'm about to make a bold statement right now. So please share this. If I only got on social media so that this day on March the whatever, 6th, 7th, I don't even know what it is. On this Monday at 1.30 Central Time. If I only got on social media for this moment right here, God, hear me. You can take away all my social media platforms and every single follower I have, and I will be fine with it. If for just this moment, you will let Stacy hear this. Stacy, you are not meant to live chained up to your past decisions. You are not meant to live like that. You are not. You are meant to live free of your bad decisions. And I am assuming that for every one of us who say we have trouble forgiving ourselves, it is based off of a bad decision. Aren't we just the queen of bad decisions? Aren't you just the queen of it? So am I. Goodness gracious, if I had a quarter for every bad decision I've ever made, <clears throat> you girl would be retired. But I am telling you, you don't have to live like that. You don't have to live with that hanging over your head. There are two things that you can do. Number one, you can learn how to forgive yourself, which is a process that we have to do every single day. And number two, learn to make better decisions. And that sounds funny, y'all are like, oh, Melissa, but I'm serious. We've got to learn to make better decisions, you guys. We have got to learn to do that. What is going on with us? We are smarter than some of the decisions 
that we have been making. Don't you think? I do. Y'all, I could write a book on just bad. Literally, nothing else would be in it. It would just be numbers. One, I did this. Two, one time I said this. Three, one time I tried to do this. Four, and it would just be a full book of just bad decisions. All of us are so, all of us are just human and we make these terrible decisions and then they live with us forever and ever and ever. They live with us and we can't get rid of the shame of them. And then we have to say things like this. Well, at least I got my kids out of it. I love my kids. That marriage, now that was a bad decision, but I got my children out of it. That's wonderful that you can see the bright side, but what? let's talk about the fact that we need to make better decisions, period. I think, this is what Allison Saxon says, I think when you have been so deeply hurt by someone and suffered abuse for a while from that person, it makes it hard to forgive them, but it makes it harder to forgive yourself for the decision you made to be with that person and taking so long to get away. It's like wasted time in your life and feeling like that suffering and who you were at that time is your fault too. It's the hardest forgiveness in my life. I have no doubt that it is. I believe every word you just typed out. I believe you. I believe that would be really, really hard. Do I believe that it's possible? Yes. Do I believe that it would be a process to learn to, to do, to forgive you, to forgive yourself? Yeah. But is it possible? Yes. But here's the thing. So let me ask you this, Allison. Allison with the good words. What do you do? Do you just, just accept that one? That's, I just have to accept that. That's just what happened. That's just who I was. And I'm just, I've got, and you just kind of just then like what? You go through life with like your feet stuck in cement. And, uh, this is because of the decisions I made and I'm never going to get past it. But I mean, I'm moving forward, but it's getting harder and harder and, and harder. But, or, do we stop and say, no, I'm not moving on from here until I know better and until I do better, until I forgive better? So, yeah. See, Samantha says, see, I'm quick to forgive others and to give them more chances. It's me I have the problem with. And that's so interesting because, you know, even if you guys are just, just now jumping on, then maybe you didn't hear me, but we're, I'm sitting outside of a shoe store. David's got to go um, on a field trip with Rocco next week, and there's going to be a lot of walking. He's going to Washington. And he, David said, uh, my lower back's been hurting. I've been hurting, and I want to go in here, and I want to get myself scanned to see if I need any insoles in my feet or new shoes or whatever. And so that's what's happening. And in, and in the process of walking in, um, and I mean pulling in, rather, and letting him get in the car, or get out of the car, I, I found myself thinking, man, that sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like me. He's got lower back pain. And so his feet are, you know, maybe that's what's causing it. Maybe he needs inserts to lift his, his arches up. I don't know. But that's what we do. We walk around with these rocks in our shoes and we just think, Eventually, I'll just get used to them, but you won't get used to them. It will, the pain will just get worse and worse and worse. You'll just keep walking on it and find that you're getting nowhere fast. And bad decisions, your decision to forgive others, but not yourself. Your, the abuse that you suffered and now you can't forgive the abuser. All of these are rocks in your shoes. But at what point are you going to stop and take those shoes off and dump those rocks out and do the hard work, right? Do the hard work of ridding yourself of those things so that you can move on with life. Because some of, some of us have a really hard time believing that our chains can be part of our change. They really can. I heard a pastor say, your test can be your testimony. 
And I thought, that is so cheesy, but it's so true. Um, yeah, I'm looking at you guys saying I'm so, it's, it, but it's so hard. It, it, it is. From one of your besties, it is hard. But it is also possible. I'm really excited that you guys jumped on. I did not know I'd have this many people, and I'm so thankful that you did. And I'm thankful so much for those of you who shared it. Because if this didn't, if you didn't identify with this today, somebody did. Somebody will. Why don't you share it? Somebody will identify with this. I'm just a girl talking out loud. But I'm so glad y'all are here. I'll do it again tomorrow. I'll get on here tomorrow, and let's figure it out. Let's figure out what we do. I don't want you, Allison, Marianne, Terry Foster, Lindsay Haney, Shara, Allison, Martha, Christina Popovich, Samantha. I don't want all, I don't, I do not want you guys living the rest of your life walking in cement because you can't get past some decisions that you make. I used to do that and I don't do that anymore. God delivered me of that. And I'm happy to share that with you. We'll, we'll get on here tomorrow. Same time, same place. Well, maybe not the shoe store, but we'll get on here tomorrow. Uh, I'm so glad y'all were willing to take a second and just listen to me share my heart. But um, if you woke up this morning Oh, that's so sweet for at City Point during sisterhood. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you for that. If you woke up this morning and you set your feet on the ground and you took in a breath and you, and you started your day, there's your sign that you still have an opportunity to change, be better, <coughs> and live forgiven. Whether, Shara, it was by your choices or by someone else's. If you're breathing, there's an opportunity to be completely free of that. So, I love you guys. We'll get on here tomorrow and talk too. How about that? Let's do it. Okay? Love y'all so much. Thank you for sharing this. I would really love it if you would share it. Okay, that's all. Bye.